Well, welcome back. It is time once again to shop local and you know we've got you covered this afternoon for the holiday shopping season. So the Urban Institute of Contemporary Arts is inviting folks to come on out to their holiday artist market this weekend. So Chris is here to give us the lowdown. Also joining us, very talented artists. We've got Nancy, we've got Jared. Guys, thank you so much for coming in today. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having us. All right, Chris, you want to start it off with letting us know all about the market? Yeah, so this is our 31st year of doing this. So it's wow. not like a first time at all. Yeah. So it's um, gotten bigger and better every year. Um, it'll be at Steelcase Town Hall, so don't come to the UICA building. Okay. Um, you can come to the UICA building because we'll be open for our general galleries and our movie theater, but the artist market will happen at Steelcase Town Hall out on 44th Street. Um, it's this Saturday, December 7, and it's going to be from um, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And so because it's out there, parking is free and attendance, like entrance, is free. And then all of the money they spent with the artists mm -hmm. stays with the artists directly. So UICA That's awesome. doesn't take like a portion of the sale or anything. So it's a great way to support local artists and really meet an artist and work with them to talk about the art and figure out what they're doing and also to pick some great things as gifts or some things for yourself. You I love that. A few. Yeah, no, definitely. And we've got some of them here today. Yeah. So Nancy, why don't you start us off? Let us know what you brought in. Cool, yeah. So I have a few rings mostly and a couple of necklaces that I've made. I mostly work in sturdy this silver. Very cool. yeah. yeah, so a lot of these are cast and a lot of some are fabricated. And, you know, I just like to make things that people can wear. How do you get the inspiration for this? Different places, mostly mm -hmm. literature okay. or found objects a lot of times, like the well, things. It's, 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 like, it's <laughs> yeah. kind of reminds me of something like out of a Marvel movie. Like, it's, oh, it's, it's very cool, yeah. Yeah, it's actually from like um, Aztec mythology. So, okay. Yeah, a little very, different. very cool. You got a lot of other stuff going on. And, and what about you? Uh, Jerry, you got some very unique yeah. things. I'm Thanks. looking at this. Yeah. This kind of thing going on, displaying some of the jewelry. So, like, uh, tell me what you got going on over here. Yeah, so I make uh, jewelry, wooden jewelry, out yeah. of uh, primarily found wood. Wow, um, okay. But it's all the natural colors, so I don't add any dyes or stains. Oh, that's so incredible. all these colors that you see are, yeah. are natural to nature. Like, this is a yeah. paddock wood. This green, my wife and I, we just found recently up in northern Michigan. Wow. And I think it's caused by a fungus called... Uh, Chloroborea aerogenius or something. <laughs> so it's taking yeah. something that you Science. probably would something not, like you know, want to want to be a part of or yeah. want to be near and making it into something beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Jared, that's incredible. That Thank is so you. cool and very unique too. I mean, because you can't find anything like yeah. this anywhere else. Yeah, I try to make each yeah. piece different. So okay. every time I go down to create something new, I'm thinking, what can I do that's different that I haven't done before? Yeah. So if you get a piece, it's pretty unique. There are probably only one or two of them that have been made like that. That's awesome. And, uh, and, and and how did you, I mean, again, how did you come up with all of this? You and your wife, I know you kind of go out and find these things. Yeah. What made you kind of like go toward this? Uh, well, it's been something I've been doing for about 15 years. Yeah. And it was just a fun pastime. It was a fun hobby for a long time. And uh, just this year, I decided to make it my full-time occupation because I loved it so much. Yeah. And I just wanted to focus on it. It's so therapeutic and fun. That yeah. is that is absolutely amazing. You guys are both very, very talented. Chris, go ahead and give us the lowdown again about the when, where, yeah, happening so with the market. Yeah, so this Saturday, and as they were both saying, they find their own inspiration, but we'll have 75 artists there. So they'll all be bringing their own unique inspirations and their unique items. In the middle of the table, we have just a general selection from other people that will be there as well. Oh, that's great, yeah. So Saturday, uh, the 7th, from 10 to 5, you can find out more information about it at uica.org slash ham for awesome. Holiday Artist Market. All right. Guys, thank you so much for coming in today. We thank really you. appreciate it. We also have information as well on our website, 13onyourside.com slash gifts. Stick around. We'll be right back.